Now we will be demonstrating a side to side anastomosis. Ideally, we need to have two loops of ball which are going close to each other in continuity. But for demonstration purposes, we will be folding the loops in close approximation to each other. But you need to make sure that two loops are getting in continuity and not looped on like this. Before taking any cuts on the ball, the first thing is we will fix the two loops together by a simple stay suture or what we can say is a posterior layer of Lambert sutures. We can continue with these sutures for the desired length that we need. Ideally, a 5 to 6 cm length is more than enough for any side to side anastomosis. These are seromuscular sutures for approximating the two loops. This will also act as a posterior layer of Lambert sutures. So once we have approximated the two loops, what we have to identify are the two sides of the incision that we have to take. They need to be parallel to the two loops. We will use a blade to make a small cut, but you can do the same if you have an electrocautery. Again, we will make a small cut on the other loop. This will open up the ball on both the sides. With the help of scissors, we can open up the desired length. But we need to make sure that they are equidistant. So these are your two lumens and now 
we will start suturing the two balls. Again, the first step is to secure our edges and the maneuver will be the same. We will be going outside in and leaving inside out on the same loop. Again on the opposite end, we will be going outside in followed by inside out. An assistant can hold the cut edge with the help of an artery forcep and we can continue with the suturing of the posterior layer. Remember to take full thickness bites from both the angles. We can take the sutures either as continuous or as intermittent. But in this demonstration, we are showing continuous interlocking technique. Also, if you have a double sided needle, then you can continue one needle for the posterior layer and one needle for the anterior layer. We are locking every suture as we take. can see clearly how the posterior layer has been sutured. 
Now we will be coming out for the anterior layer. Again for the corner, we are taking stay sutures and the maneuver is the same, going outside in followed by inside out on the same loop. And we'll repeat the same on the other loop. The direction of these sutures have to be in line with the bowel so that the angle is not affected. Now going on to the anterior layer. We can also take simple interrupted sutures instead of continuous sutures. Generally, if it was a colon, we would have used interrupted sutures instead of continuous. While suturing, we need to make sure that the edges are getting approximated with equal distance. We need to make sure that the edges are inverting properly. In the end, we are just taking through and through sutures. We need to make sure that every time we are taking a proper chunk from the lumen. And we need to be extra careful while suturing near the edges. We have almost reached the end, so we will take one more suture beyond the edge to complete our side to side anastomosis. We will tie this end with the other free end. We will cut this free end as well. So this anterior layer again will be covered with one layer of Lambert sutures which will reinforce the primary suture line and bury them. These Lambert sutures will form the fourth layer of sutures. We always take the bearing suture or Lambert suture a bit away from the suture line so that adequate area is preserved.
these Lambert sutures will reinforce a previous primary suture line. We can clearly see how the previous suture line is getting buried inside. Again, make sure that we are taking good chunks while suturing or else you might cut through the tissue. Also, we need to make sure that we are going beyond the anastomosis line while taking the final Lambert suture. By taking this final Lambert suture, we will reinforce a primary suture line. So here, we are finally done with the anastomosis. We can clearly see the anterior wall, the posterior wall of Lambert sutures and we can see from between the lumen which seems to be patent. This can also be confirmed by a side to side maneuver with a thumb and index finger in which we can feel the margins and the lengths of the anastomosis. In our demonstration, we have taken about 5 cm which is more than enough.